In this video, we're gonna go over Tom Ford's Oudwood and what makes it so special. However, before we do that, I gotta get my coffee. So let's get started. Hey there, my name's Jerome and welcome back to Gentleman Becoming. If this is your first time here, you should know that I help you out with fragrance, wardrobe, and health and fitness to try to boost up that confidence, to try to make you somebody who makes an impression, try to, I don't know, enhance the way that you carry yourself. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out my other videos and even consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to talk about Tom Ford's Oud Wood and what makes it so special. If you don't know a lot about Tom Ford, I just want to let you know that he's got two lines. He's got a signature collection. And these are fragrances that you might find in like Macy's or Sephora or any other department store like that, Lord & Taylor. And then he's got his private stock collection and that includes Oud Wood. It also includes other famous ones like Tuscan Leather or Noir de Noir or um, I don't know, Tobacco Beneath. It is higher priced <laughs> in general, even his signature collection is kind of expensive, but his private blend is, well, Let's get into it. Here's what you should know about Tom Ford's private blend before making an investment, before getting started there, okay? A, it's quite expensive, and B, they are not necessarily mass appealing. In fact, Tom Ford himself states that the private blend collection is more of his um, laboratory to kind of experiment and to make things that aren't part of the mass market, to make things that are special and unique in their own sense. So. You could say that by buying one and by using it frequently, you will smell like nobody else out there. Of course, that's not necessarily true because other people can buy the collection and it's wildly successful. However, the price tag is what discourages a lot of people from doing that. So, if you can, I mean, like I always say, go decant before investing in this stuff. Now, Oudwood in general is one of my favorites. Oudwood is spicy, it's powdery, it's milky, it's obviously woody. And despite having Oud in its name, Oud isn't the main star of the show here. It's not the main player. In fact, it kind of takes a back seat and lets the other notes um, kind of help round it out, especially when it, when it chills out. Upon opening for the first 30 minutes, it's quite sharp and it's pretty unique, but it's something that's just different. It's something that's special from everything else that's out there. Typically, Oud fragrances will be just strong in the Oud, and Oud is the star of the show, right? I mean, I guess that makes sense if it's got the name Oud in it. But Oud would here, it, it really helps complemented so to say instead of making it the star of the show and introducing a large dose of it it like I said takes a back seat and it lets the other notes around it kind of complement it so you're getting a, a, a lot of wood to begin with which is wicked masculine but you're also getting notes that help I don't know kind of make it unique like to me I get the woods definitely right off the bat I also get like a powdery sense in the dry down it's a little bit milky too and I'm not exaggerating with that or making that up. If you kind of smell this in the dry down, you, you know, think about milk or think about dairy, you'll see what I mean, but it's not strong like that. Like you're not gonna walk around smelling like yogurt or anything like that. Um, but these notes, they kind of blend in real nice and they are just unique. I've never smelled anything else like it. When I first smelled Oudwood, I mean, I'll never forget it to be honest. It was something different. It was something extravagant. It was just different. It was exhilarating and that's why I love it but it does have its downfalls. Like longevity isn't really there. I get four to six hours roughly. I mean, it's like, let's be honest, you know, six hours is, is pretty decent and you might even get a little bit more if you like spray it on your shirt or, you know, maybe you, you put some moisturizer on wherever you're spraying it to help your skin uh, make the oils last a little bit longer. Like, just take these things into account. I get about six to eight hours out of it. So, I mean, that's just something to think about. I think despite that, I definitely 
you know, think that it's worthy enough to be the first Tom Ford in your collection because it, it's something special. It's really nice and it doesn't really project that long for that hard, but it does leave a nice sillage. Whenever I've gotten compliments, it's not because I'm standing around people, it's because I've walked around the room and people will say, oh, you smell nice, you know what I mean? Um, and it, it does, it smells so good. It's, it's, I always get powdery, that's what people say. It smells powdery and then in the opening people will say when it's projecting that it smells like very woody. Um, but it's unfortunate because it's so expensive yet the performance really isn't there. It doesn't project super hard and frankly you probably wouldn't want it to the way that it smells. And if you haven't smelt it before I, I guess that that can be a hard concept to understand. But if you're somebody who has smelt it and you're just watching it because if you're like me you own the fragrance and you want to watch a review on it anyway <laughs> then you'll kind of see what I mean. I mean go you know pause the video and go grab a sample of it and give it a whiff. And I think you'll see what I mean. It's spicy and harsh in the opening and you don't want that necessarily to project. But once it rounds out and it kind of softens up, it turns into something really nice. It's something real special and it's masculine for sure. Hey, if you're getting any value out of the video, consider giving it a thumbs up or even subscribing. I like making this content for you and I hope you're getting some kind of value out of it. So let's jump right back into it. As far as occasions, occasions go for Tom Ford Oudwood, um, I would say it's signature scent worthy for sure, meaning that it's definitely versatile. You can wear it in the heat, you can wear it in the cold, you can wear it in the spring, you can wear it in the fall. It doesn't really matter. It will smell nice and masculine all the time. Like I said, you don't want it to project super hard um, at the opening. So like in the heat, you gotta be careful with the trigger. Don't, don't go crazy. Luckily, it dries down pretty quick. Like that doesn't last too long and then it kind of chills out and it's just a nice masculine scent. If you're curious about what the sillage smells like, what I usually do is before I put on my shirt, I'll go ahead and put like three or four sprays on my chest, you know, like maybe two here and two down here. I let it dry, I put on my shirt, I'll go about my day, and then maybe when I'm in the car, what I'll do is I'll kind of pull my short shirt forward a little bit, so like that, there's kind of like a, you know, like a vent. And then I take the bottom of my shirt and I'll just fan like this. Not super crazy or anything like that. You kind of get whiffs of it and you'll see. Try that out. I know it sounds crazy, but give that a shot and you'll see that it smells different than if you were to like spray it on your hand and waft it by your face or try to just get wafts of it. It's a little bit different when you do it like that. It kind of soaks into your skin and absorbs a little bit. It sits in your shirt and then you kind of just waft it like that and you'll see what it smells like. And it smells very different than like when you smell it right off the cap or if you were to just spray it on your skin and spray it on your hand. I find that in the heat, the woods pop a little bit more, and then in the cold, the powder is kind of what sticks around. Um, and honestly, I probably wouldn't have it any other way. The problem with it is, is that it's close to 180, a little over 180 shipped on FragranceNet.com. And you can get impressions of it, like on oil perfumery or on Alexandria, like I've always suggested, or you can go the decant route. But keep in mind that, like I said, Tom Ford's private blend collection is he's experimenting you know what I mean and he does make some awesome fragrances like Tuscan leather is really good Noir de Noir Italian Cypress like all of his fragrances from that house are, are so full and they smell amazing they're crazy crazy good but they're very expensive and they're not necessarily mass pleasing per se now, I know that sounds like I'm being hypocritical because like I said a lot of people like Tuscan leather a lot of people like Noir de Noir but these are like fragrance heads, you know what I mean? Like people out in the general public that you're probably gonna meet that aren't frag heads, aren't gonna be like, oh my God, is that oud wood? That's really good. They're just gonna, do you smell good or not? And for somebody who doesn't have a trained nose per se, or somebody who's not really mature, they're probably gonna think oud wood's like, woof, rough, you know what I mean? Like I would say, if you're 25 and older, and just depending on your maturity level and who you're hanging out with, you can definitely pull off oud wood. If you're younger than that, it's kind of hard to imagine being a young kid who like just turned 21, 22 and you're going to the bar to drink and you're around that kind of crowd of people or like you're in college and this is what you're wearing, it's it's not really like a fragrance like that. It's something a little bit more mature. Um, but again, if you're in your late 20s, then this is probably the way to go. Even if you were up to like your 50s or 60s, you can get away with this, but it's not old man smelling. It's something that's mature and masculine. It's just the price tag that kind of makes it hard to deal with. What you're paying for versus like performance wise, I, I don't think that it makes a lot of sense to buy it. and I hate to say that because I own it but <laughs> well I got it as a gift an ex-girlfriend got it for me but <laughs> I would have bought it anyway because I love it I love it so much I think it's great it's just 180 bucks for what you're getting performance wise it, it, I really don't think it makes a lot of sense but like I said you can get an impression of it or you can get something from oil perfumery 
I haven't tried from either of those houses because I feel like it's redundant to buy an impression of it when I own the original. But I mean, check it out. I definitely think it's worth checking out. It, it's so good. Check out the reviews on Fragrantica. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, you know, I think I think that if you, if you just smelt it and you gave it a shot in different weather, just buy it like a decant. Just buy five milliliters and get to know it. Because I, I think it's it's a staple in the Tom Ford collection. You know, I feel like everybody should own this. I really do think it's that special. Um, if you can cough up the money. So, <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty much where I'm at with this. As far as occasion goes for Oudwood, I would say that it's signature scent worthy, for sure. It's very masculine. Um, I think it's appropriate for formal settings, like a formal dinner or like a wedding, or, um, you know, even if you're somebody who's casual and has a nice sense of style, you can definitely get away with Oudwood as a signature scent. The place that I wouldn't wear Oudwood is like on a date, because it doesn't smell seductive. It's not particularly like sexy per se. It does smell masculine and that's nice. And if that's what you're going for, hey, more power to you. But there are cheaper options that are better performing in the date scenario than Oud would for sure. So, you know, if, if you if you don't own this yet and you're thinking like, oh man, yeah, that's gonna make me feel sexy or it's gonna make girls want me or whatever, or whatever it is that you're into, this probably isn't the best bet for that. There are better choices out there than Oud would. I mean, uh, if you have a, a date fragrance, go ahead and drop that down in the comments below. Let me know what is your date fragrance and uh, do you own Tom Ford Oudwood? So the final verdict for me for Oudwood is I absolutely love it. I would buy it um, because I'm more liberal with my money. I suggest going out of your way to get a decant of this or going to a store that you know it's at and getting a whiff of it. Try it on, like I said in my previous video, spray it on your hand, walk around with it for the rest of the day. Don't go crazy and buy it or get a decant from somewhere reputable like Scent Split and you know, see, see what all the excitement's about. It's something that's, that's really special and it's great. And uh, you know, if you got some value out of this video, maybe I help you make a decision, or maybe I put you onto something that now you're excited about, or maybe I reinvigorated the way that you feel about your own Oudwood, um, go ahead and subscribe, you know, or give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you liked um, about Oudwood when you first smelt it for the first time. And if you haven't, are you gonna go out of your way to get a whiff of it? I mean, let me know. And uh, well shoot, what should I talk about next, huh? Let me know if there's any fragrances that you want to see reviews on, and if I have it in my collection, I'll be more than happy to do that. Other than that, I mean, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.